Okay, the last video. There is so much more you can do in my fitness pal. A lot of that I've never touched. Like you can add your weight in and you're welcome to do that if you want to keep track. It's super simple. Whatever you want to do, there's other things you can do. Again, I just need to see your journal. So this, so my fitness pal can be a really great tool to pre-plan your meals and your meal prep. So you can make sure that you're not grocery shopping and then meal prepping and then you notice like, oh crap, I'm over 20 grams of fat every day. So you can kind of do this before you meal prep. And I have done this before. And that is why I know <laughs> literally 20 grams of fat I was over every day that week because I had already had it meal prep. And there was like, no, it was like, I meal prep like spaghetti, for example, and it was already all put together anyway. So this video is going to go over how to use my fitness pal to plan ahead. So plan out your meal plan. What I do, and I eat the same thing every week. If you don't, this will take you a little bit longer, but I know Monday through Thursday, I'm eating the same thing. So you're going to pull up your my fitness pal. We are on the home screen again. And then you'll just go to your diary and let's go to Monday. Just for example. And then just like we did in the video where I was showing you how to track everything you ate, you're just going to go in and put what you plan to eat during the week. So like I have my meal plan already ready. So I know I'm doing breakfast burritos again. So I'm going to add in everything I just added in. Um, and then right here, add frequently paired foods. That's a great way to make it much faster for you. Use that. So it already knows breakfast burritos and then I'm done boom and then for lunch this week I'm having steak bowls so this again this isn't gonna be like super accurate I'm just doing it for the sake to show you guys if I can spell steak um, we'll say blank blank steak boom four ounces which has about 24 grams of protein. I'll probably eat about five ounces steak. And then I'm gonna have rice and avocado with it. Half a cup. And then I'll do half of an avocado. That looks good to me, even though it didn't have the green check. Okay, so there's my lunch. And then dinner, I'm going to have like maybe some kind of Mediterranean chicken because it's what I've really been craving. Organic chicken, that's a better one. It has a green check. So I know I'll eat five ounces. It knows me so well. Um, let's do like some couscous. Green checks here, so plain couscous. Let's do this like homemade. See what I mean? Okay, here's a good example. <laughs> it says literally zero carbs, zero fat, zero protein. I know for a fact couscous has carbs and it has a little bit of protein in it, so we are not going to use that one. How dare they deceive us? Okay, a hundred grams. Right here, you can change that if you weigh in ounces, one ounce. So change that to one ounce. Um, number of servings. Usually when I do, I try to stick to about three ounces. Oh, not 13, three ounces. It's a lot, I don't know. I, I don't normally eat couscous, just FYI. We'll just say one, okay. And then maybe some pita bread. Pita bread white, green check, one slice, looks good, check, check. And then for snacks, let's say I'm having apples and peanut butter. One apple, medium. Again, it said medium, so like a medium apple is, I think what some people would say is small, but just make sure you're not eating like a gigantic apple and, and logging it as like a medium one. Um, and then peanut butter. Make 
suggestions, and I usually do one tablespoon. Let's just say this is big. Okay. So there we are with our goals. I have 141 remaining. So this is a pretty good day. I don't think I went over anything. Let's check. Turn your phone sideways. Um, I'm over my fat, of course. This is the big one for me is fat five, which is I'm not going to like stress about that. Don't let that stress you out. Five is fine. Um, I need, though, if you'll see my protein, I need 36 more grams of protein. So what I would do in this case is I would either add in a shake, see, it like makes you see what you need, what you're lacking. So I know I would maybe add in an ounce more of protein at each of my meals, which is probably what I'll do, along with a shake or something, or do a more high protein snack just for example, but this is a perfect example of to kind of see what you'll need to meal prep for the week. So you are able to plan ahead and be successful. And then I do have 21 grams of carbs. I highly, I'll kind of leave that as is. I won't like fill those carbs. I can easily like maneuver on the go, if that makes sense. But protein, protein does need to be planned out. So I would probably add like another egg to breakfast and then like an ounce of steak and an ounce of chicken to my meals and that would probably get me pretty close honestly so just making adjustments like that really helps okay that's it that's it that's all we are done that's all i have for you in this little mini series i really hope it helps of course reach out to me if you have any other questions it just takes some getting used to just technology man i don't know just keep trying, keep going. But I, I gave you the basics. I just want you to track your food. You don't have to worry about anything else in my fitness pal. Okay, bye.